Hi, this is Brad Linder from Lilliputin, and I'm here with the Nortec Gecko Edu book. Right now, I've got Windows XP installed on here, but the folks from uh, Nortec gave me another SD card, which has Puppy Linux installed on it. And, you know, I could install Puppy by going the usual route and uh, putting it on a USB flash drive, and then running it from the flash drive, and then installing it. But instead, I wanted to show you one of the advantages of ha having a modular PC here that's got easy upgrades. Basically, all you got to do is pop out and possibly lose <laughs> some of the screws, and then make sure that I remember which way they could push this. I've got one more screw that I forgot to undo here. So there's three screws that you have to pop out. And then you can access the inside. Here's that screw that fell in. Once you're on the inside, you'll see that there's a pack of AA batteries. These are rechargeable batteries. Um, it's recommended that you don't put alkaline batteries in here because if you try plugging in a uh, power cord, you can cause them to melt, explode, do all sorts of bad things. Over here, we actually have the module with the CPU and RAM. I'm just going to take that out and set it aside. And then in here is an SD card which is actually running the operating system. So let's go ahead and pop that out. Take the new 8 gigabyte SSD, or uh, SD card, slide it right in. This is an awkward angle because of the camera. There we go. Make sure that that snaps in properly. Could be a little bit tighter. There we go. Let's put this in that way. Okay, so I've gone ahead and um, closed up the computer, and now we're booting from the SD card that has Puppy Linux installed. And it takes a little while to sort of get started here, but um, you know, I hit the power button about 13 seconds ago, and it's going to go through a couple of dialogues here, and you'll see that the, uh, the operating system actually loads relatively quickly. Uh, more importantly, it's much more responsive once it is up and running than uh, Windows XP or Watt OS, which is the Ubuntu-based uh, operating system that the um, the netbook actually came to move with in the first place. Uh, Puppy Linux is a lightweight distribution that's uh, capable of running from a USB flash drive or being installed to a hard drive. The entire operating system uh, typically weighs in at something like 100 uh, megabytes or less, although there are different variations of it. Um, and you can see here we are about 60 seconds after hitting the power button we've got a working Linux desktop here. So, first thing I want to do is get online. So I'm using the P wireless scanner. Found my network. I'm going to enter my password. And 
and we're online. So um, again, you can see the menus are fairly fast and responsive here. And let's go ahead and open a web browser. It uses the uh, SeaMonkey web browser, which is based on uh, Mozilla's rendering engine. Uh, basically, it's, it's very similar to Firefox. The home page is set to a local file, but let's go ahead and load a couple of web pages so you can see how it handles them. Google it boots almost instantly, or loads up almost instantly, which isn't surprising because it's a pretty lightweight web page, not much on it. Uh, Lilliputing has a lot of pictures and data and other things, so it took a while with Windows XP to load properly, but it seems to be loading a lot faster here in Puppy Linux. Okay, so the content is pretty much up. The uh, sidebar data is still loading. And apparently uh, there are some ads running this week for uh, teeth, so... Those were taking a little while to load. Here we're trying the New York Times web page. And that loads up pretty nicely. So, you know, the, the computer seems much more responsive and uh, generally more usable um, under these conditions. Let's go ahead and try to load something different. Let's see what's under the utilities, graphics, business. Let's go ahead and load Numeric, which is a spreadsheet application. So that launches pretty quickly. And we've got a quick calculation in there. There's also Abbey Word, which is a lightweight word processor. Again, loads very quickly. So uh, overall, I have to say Puppy Linux on the Gecko Edubook is, is kind of a winner. Um, this computer, which I felt had a really innovative design but was very slow under other operating systems, becomes much more usable if you're, if you're using Puppy. And if basically what you want to do is uh, use it to surf the web, this is going to be good enough. Um, you know, using this operating system. It's a $200 computer. It's uh, easily upgradable. Um, it's pretty small, has a very small keyboard. Um, I need to put it to the test a little bit more before deciding if that's sort of a, you know, um, a killer problem for me. But um, it's not really designed for me. It's designed for children, uh, especially children in developing nations. And if you've got smaller hands, the smaller keyboard might not be as much of a problem for you. So um, in terms of software, it's nice to know that the 1 gigahertz X-Core 86 processor is capable of running something a little bit more advanced. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm here with the Nortec Gecko Edubook running Puppy Linux.